Hey guys, so we are going to continue with our autobiography project that I had mentioned to you before we ended up um, leaving school a little sooner than we thought, but I'm super excited. This is one of my favorite projects that we do because I love to just see your creativity, learn about you, and to enjoy this project together. So let me explain everything to you. I will make sure you understand everything. If not, feel free to ask me questions at any time. Office hours are posted on Schoology for you. Here we go. Okay, so your project overview, you have two entries that you're gonna do per week. So this is really simple. You're only having to do this twice a week. So you can choose when you do them. If you need to write them on paper because you're limited to your technology, this is what allows you to do that and you can take pictures and upload them. However this works for you in your situation with technology, I am totally fine with. And I hope that you get feel a little creative with it and have some fun with it since you're sitting around at home still probably needing something to do. So like I said, two entries a week, okay? You're gonna submit your assignments by Sunday night of each week. So you have the entire week until 11.59 p.m. on Sunday to complete two chapters that you were going to write. I promise you this will not take you very long and I truly hope that you have fun with it because I'm gonna enjoy this, doing this with you. Okay, I will give you the topics that you're gonna write about for your project. You will use the same document slides. If you do paper, then you obviously will do a chapter on each page, but you will take pictures and upload them. However you choose to do this, if you want to do it um, in Google Docs, if you want to do it in Google Slides, it doesn't matter to me, but whatever you do, you add on each week. Don't start a whole new set of slides or a whole new set of pages. Just continue and keep it going and make sure that you put titles, and we'll get into that here as we get into the rest of the direction. Okay, so like I said, you can use Google Doc, you can use Google Slides, you can use good old paper and pencil and then just upload it to a Google Slide or upload it into a Google Doc or however you want to do it. That's entirely up to you. That works fine as well. Like I said, we're going to be very flexible, but my most favorite option that I'm giving you is to do a video log or an iMovie as well. So you could type out your paragraph and then you could um, record an iMovie acting out your story, showing pictures or video that you've taken that goes along with your story or make your own movie trailer or that shows your life. If you choose to do any of that creativity to give you something else to work on, you're most welcome to do that. But I do need you to either write out or type out your paragraphs for your chapters as we do it and then you can work them into a video log or a movie, record yourself reading them, however you want to do it. Important things that I want you to consider. Okay, fluency. Remember we talked about the wheat in the field and the nice sunny breezy day and how it just blows back and forth and it's so smooth and it just flows from one idea to the next. That's what I want your paper to be like. Remember, you're not learning where the brakes are for the very first time as a new driver. I am experiencing that because Shaylee now has her permit so I know exactly what that feels like. I want you to help me to flow through your story. I want to hear your voice. This is about you. It is not for someone else to write it for you. It's not anyone else's words. This is completely and totally from your perspective, your personal narrative, your autobiography about you. And I can't wait to hear your voice through the things that you're going to share. Remember, spelling, grammar, punctuation, they all count. This is school. Just because you're doing it on your own doesn't mean that that stuff goes away. You need to make sure you're using good sentences. You start with a capital letter, you end with a punctuation mark. If you have blue or red squiggly lines when you're typing, then maybe you should check out what they need for you to do to change it to make it correct. Do not just leave it as it is and turn it in that way. You will definitely lose points. You need to have at least seven sentences, quality sentences. That doesn't mean like seven little teeny tiny. Explain your story. Tell me about it. Paint the picture. Help me to be there to see exactly what's going on. Don't just keep it so short that I lose what's going on with it. Think about that as you're writing your sentences. Seven to ten minimum. 
try to keep it let, um, between that and 20. If you do more than 20 sentences, then you're getting into a, a whole nother page, and I'd like them to be at least um, a half to a whole page long. More than that would be a lot to read. Every single story should have its chapter title at the top, so you come up with the titles and the chapter numbers, and you need to add at least one photo or one video of some kind to every chapter. That's a requirement. Every chapter has to have one visual of some kind. You get to choose what that is, whether you have a family photo laying around and you just take another picture of it, or you tape it to your paper copy, or you um, do a small video and upload it to add to it, whatever it is. You be the judge of that. You be as creative or as simple as you want to be. All right, how we're gonna set up our slides. So in order for you to do this project, this is what you're gonna start with first. So this is, this is part one. This is what we will do together. I will make sure you, I walk you through it, okay? Each chapter is going to be one to two slides. Most of you will probably only use one, but if you need more than that, that's totally fine. One to two slides shouldn't be more than that. Each chapter has to have a title. I'm looking for a title every time at the top of the slide or the page or whatever that you're going to do. If you choose to do it on pages or, um, sorry, Google Docs or pages or at home on paper, then each chapter should be one page. Doesn't need to continue on to two. Be as creative as you with with pictures, videos, or the things that represent your story. It could be you find a brochure or a meme or something that represented something that you're talking about. Let's say the chapter is on your favorite vacation and it was to Hogwarts at Universal and you have this really cool um, wand at home that you decided to buy or a picture of you messing with your wand, then insert that. Whatever it is that you want it to be. It does not matter. This is completely and totally about you. I am the only one that sees it, and this would be a great present that you could give to your family or to your mom for Mother's Day or whatever, because we will finish it probably around that time. You need to make sure if you do slides, Google Slides, you have a title slide. If you do it on paper or Google Docs, you must have a title page. That's one whole page or slide separated with just the title of your project and your name underneath it, and we'll get into that next. Okay, so this is week one, and the expectations for this week is that you are going to first open and create a new Google slide presentation, a new Google Doc, or pull out a fresh piece of paper, okay? Then you are going to create your title. Whatever you want to call it, be creative. It could just be simply my autobiography. Way to be creative for some of you. I know that that works. And for some of you, you'll come up with a really cool little, you know, snippets of me or something um, that just represents who you are. So you're going to create a title slide or a title page. That's your first thing, whichever you choose to do. It must have your project title and it must have your name on it. So those are the first, that's the first thing you're going to do is set up the title page. Okay. Then what we're going to do is during the week, like I said, any time that you can get on, you're going to do your first two chapters. This is really simple. Like I said, seven to 10 sentences minimum. Yes, you can have more. Try not to do more than 20. Okay, so you're gonna write chapter one this week, my family history. Let me explain to you what your history is. It could be your heritage, where did your family come from? Maybe um, you have a grandparent or a great-grandparent even still alive or a great relative that you can talk to. Maybe they came on a boat from Italy. I don't know. It could be something like that. It could be any cool past stories. It could be how your grandparents fought in the war. It could be how your family came to Lake Wales. It could be anything that represents a piece of your past, whatever that is. That's entirely your choice. If you're not sure what to write about, then ask your parents or your grandparents or loved ones for help with that. Or if you already have a cool story that kind of shows where your family came from, then go there, however you want to do it. So chapter one is your family history, how your family came to be a family, okay? Then chapter two 
is your other chapter you're going to write. The funniest thing that has ever happened to me. Think about something. I know all of you have had something crazy or something funny that has happened to you. Okay? So I want you to share your story with me. That's why I put this pie in the face photo up here just to give you something to think about, maybe something to laugh about. But I want to know the funniest thing that has ever happened to you. And I want you to write me that story. So for this week, you're only doing two chapters. You're doing chapter one, your family history, and chapter two, the funniest thing that has ever happened to you. If you have any questions, I did give you my cell phone number in the information part on Schoology. I ask that you keep that private. I'm only giving it to you as a seventh grader because I feel like that this is an assignment. If you have a specific question, please text me and I will be happy to answer your questions. I will be on Schoology and available office hours time. It tells you from 9 to 11 every day in the morning and then from 1 to 2 30 in the afternoons but if you need me outside of that because that's the only time you've been able to get online to do your work just shoot me a text if I can answer you I will and if not I will get back to you as soon as I can pending on whatever is going on but you got this I don't need to approve what you're writing about trust yourself this is a project about you so you choose what you want to do, how you want this to go, what you want this to look like. And I'm super excited to learn a little bit of history from your families and some of the funny things that have happened to you in your lifetime. Okay, so now you need to go on to part three. No, sorry, part four. Uh, no, part three is where you do the assignment. I'll get there eventually. Part four is going to be a quick reflection question. I'm just probably going to ask you a simple discussion question just to check in and see how you're doing. would love for you to respond just so I know how things are going for you. It might be some crazy question. It might be a serious question. But um, all in all, if you need anything, please don't hesitate to contact me. Hope that you all are keeping safe, and I love you much.